here we have a MIDI track that maybe we want to fade in or fade out. We have our smart tool selected. If I come up to the corner, I don't get my fade icon like I do with audio tracks. So audio tracks down here, come up to the corner, smart tool selected, and I can of course create that fade. Real quick, I can come down to the bottom, double click on that fade to get my, uh, to get my fade dialog, and I can of course adjust that fade however I want. So if I do this real quick across these tracks for the fade out, we could of course obviously do a fade in as well, just from the top there. But if we fade all these out, nice quick way to create your phase in playback. It's gonna fade out. Right? So we know how to do that with audio. I'll hold down Alt and click that solo button to turn all of those off. But we can't do that with MIDI. So how do I fade this in and how do I fade this out? Let's just listen to it here. Maybe I want to fade it into around four bars or so. Then I want to start fading it out around bar six or seven. All right. So again, I don't have that fade tool for our MIDI track. We have MIDI on an instrument track right now and it's triggering contact here. So what we can do, there's obviously more than one way to, to fade in and out MIDI, but the way I'm going to show you is probably the easiest and the quickest. First, you want to switch your view to audio volume. Now we have MIDI volume. This is not what you want. You want audio volume. But the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to leave this on clips and we'll use our triangle drop down. Make sure we choose audio volume. What we are basically doing is drawing in automation. So we can come up here to choose our pencil tool, click and hold, and you can choose freehand, line, whatever you want there. Freehand, of course, drawing in your automation, draw in whatever you want. Control Z to undo that. But because we want a nice, smooth, linear fade, we'll just choose line. Now I'll play back. Just listen to it. Now I'm going to adjust my volume first. You can see how that line down here changes whenever I adjust this volume. What I'm doing here is setting up my volume to get a good starting point. We can always change it later. That's pretty good there. So let's start there. We can expand this a little bit. Expand out here some if we want. So we'll start right down here. I'll just click and we'll just draw a nice line up to around four bars. Now keep in mind, look over there in the left hand corner. We can see our audio level. We don't want to go all the way up because that's plus 12 dB. Let's come to up to zero, around zero. That's pretty good. Zoom out. You can see our audio volume, basically our fade in in this case. So I play back, slowly increases. You can see that up here too, right? If I pull up our mix window, you'll see that as well. Playback is gonna start going up. All right, now of course I can adjust this, grab my hand tool here. And I, maybe I want to move this node down, start lower. Always keep in mind, you know, don't leave any nodes out there. We can always adjust how long that fade is just by grabbing a node. You can always click and add another node. Maybe you want to pull it down here for some reason, click here and pull it back up. We can do that as well. I'll just pull this up just so you can see it. We play back here. See how we're fading in. Right? All right, that's our fade in. And of course, fade out's gonna be the same thing. Control Z a couple times to get this back to a nice line. Then we'll fade out from about here, grabbing our pencil tool again. We could do freehand if we want. I would probably suggest you do line, but let's just do freehand just for fun. And we'll start to fade this down, maybe a little up and then down, down, down. There we go. So now we have our fade in and our fade out. Up to full volume there. And then we'll come to our fading out. And it's going to fade down. All right. Very good. So that's how you can do a fade in and fade out with MIDI here in Pro Tools. All right. So this was MIDI on an instrument track. What if instead you had MIDI on a MIDI track and it was triggering an instrument track or an aux track? We're going to use an aux track in this case. We can do the same thing here. So that's what we have. Maybe we want to fade this in. Well, in order to do that, we'll come down to whatever track we are running the audio through, meaning I don't want to come to my MIDI track and choose volume. Okay, that's something different. We can do this, but it's not going to be what you want more than likely. Let's see. Okay. What you want is the volume on your aux track or on your instrument track. So same thing here. 
We can choose volume here. We already have the volume being that this is an aux track, but we can use the drop down if we want. All right, volume, same exact thing here. Pencil tool, line tool. And this time we can of course adjust the volume first to get a good starting point. Maybe start down there, very good. Expand out, pencil tool selected of course. We can draw this in in either, uh, either view, being that this is an aux track, uh, we don't really need to have that drop down, but you can have that if you want. And of course, let's just fade this in around four bars, keeping in mind the level over there in the left corner. All right. Looks good to me. Very good. And then let's just say we're going to fade out right here and we're just going to fade it on down. Bada boom. But before we play back, let's make sure this automation is on read. Okay. Let's play back. Nice fade in. Get louder force up to maximum level and then fade that out. All right, so it's fading in and fading out with MIDI, and I'll show you one more thing. Let's control Z out of all of this here. One other way you could do it is to uh, draw it in yourself with a volume fader here in Pro Tools or if you have a control board or something. Okay. So what we'll do, let me control Z that out. We're on this aux track. Okay, if I move my fader, you can see that line is going to correspond. So what I can do, I can set up about where I want to start. I can play back and sort of just listen here. What I want to do. That's good, let's just start there. Let's come up here, change this from auto read to write. Okay, so now it's on auto write. And all we have to do is start playing back. Let's fade this in. Now, if I stop here, it's going to drop off to where we started. Okay, so keep that in mind. But that's another way you can draw in your fade ins or your, your fade outs. Okay, pull this up. Let's start here and fade it out. All right, so there you go. Now it's on auto latch. You want to ignore it, you just turn it off. Just going to stay down here, as you can see, with that blue line. Read, we could touch, we could latch, touch and latch, we could touch around here while we're uh, playing back. You can touch. It's going to draw a new automation there, and then go right back up. Okay, but that's getting more into automation, which is outside the scope of this video. But the easiest way to do this would just be to use your pencil tool since we just want a nice clean fade in. Draw it in, nice clean fade out, right here with volume selected on our aux track, or if you have an instrument track, choose your audio volume, draw in your fade, and then draw your fade out. Of course, keeping in mind the level that you are pulling your audio volume up and down.